In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about Outlander Season 3, Episode 12, The Bakra. Lord, Captain Leonard is on the premises. Bastard! Hello folks, how is it going? Welcome to the vlog. Today is an Outlander review. For those of you who are new here, my name is Sean and I'm a YouTube vlogger from Edinburgh in Scotland. I talk all about Scottish culture and of course Outlander. And in today's episode, we're reviewing the Bakra, the latest episode of Outlander. What an episode it was. It was absolutely sensational, incredible, emotional. And I should mention, there will be spoilers. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, you might want to switch this off and come back in a few days time after you've watched it. First of all, I just need to talk about last week's episode very quickly. I did not review it because I've been traveling a lot. I'm actually traveling at the moment. I'm in a hotel, as you can probably see by the butterfly decorations behind me. It's not mine, I'm in a hotel room. So I missed last week's. I did intend to do a review of it now, today, and post it up. But then I watched the Bakra and it was just so amazing that I was like, you know what, skip that. I'm not gonna review last week's episode. I'm just gonna get right into episode 312 because wow, like, I don't even know where to start. I think this might actually be the, my favorite episode of the season so far. It's been building and building and building and we have reached the point now, we are at the point where things were just about to boil over and explode. Last week we had a kind of happy ending at the end. Literally speaking, everything seemed fine and clear in Jamie's world and then this week we arrive in Jamaica. But first of all, obviously we are on the voyage. We learn about young Ian and what happened to him. Who is the boy? He was holding the box. What should we do with him? Where are we? Jamaica. Poor lad, he's been jailed in a Portuguese boat over to Jamaica and then he reaches the destination where he's basically going to be enslaved and we find out the boss person who is going to deal with him is the Bakra and it's Galus. Wow, I really hoped we'd see Galus again. I didn't expect it would be now. It was a big, big surprise for me. As someone who doesn't read the books, I don't know if that's how it happened, if she was ever going to come back. I kind of knew that she would come back somehow but it was just such a big surprise and an awesome surprise. Galus is a great character, great to have her back. That bloodbath thing was quite an epic scene. Young Ian had an eyeful there. Obviously that's not how it happened in the book, but I think for the screens it just worked so well. The colours, the, the kind of dynamics, you know, we all knew Galus is a bit of a batty character, a bit mad, and that just kind of confirmed it to us, right? We know that she's from the future, so she should be as progressive as Claire is, but something just a bit screw loose there, right? And young Ian is alive and reasonably well we don't know where his future lies but hopefully jamie and claire have arrived in jamaica to save him like there's quite a few things that i found interesting about that kind of section first of all was claire coming to see the slavery i thought that was really fascinating she was obviously horrified by what she saw slavery had of course ended in claire's time so she would have had a really strong reaction to actually seeing it in the flesh seeing a slave market basically and it's quite shocking i think it was really well filmed they got the emotions over of how terrible that must have been. And obviously Claire's reaction to seeing the, the woman getting branded. You know, what I thought though when she was talking to Jamie about slavery and actually potentially freeing the slave, I thought Jamie's reaction was, again, odd. Like I've talked about this before. I've always found it fascinating when he comes across things that are modern, like the needles, for example. He's always been a bit open-minded about them. Uh, and, and when Claire tells him about slavery and releasing the slave, he's surprisingly open-minded and progressive for somebody of his time. So quite progressive and open to the fact that slavery was bad, trusting in Claire. But then again, if you think back a few episodes, he wasn't so keen on the bikinis, so not always progressive. So then the guys are all invited as a group to the governor's ball. And who do we run into at the governor's ball? Galus, again, for one. We find that mad couple from Edinburgh, I can't even remember their names, but the fortune reader and her brother. But then more importantly, Lord John Grey is back. Oh yeah, we knew he was coming back eventually. And again, like for me, who's not read the books, I didn't know if it would be this episode, but he is back. Great to see Lord John Grey. And he and Jamie obviously got on really, really, really well quickly, like a house on fire, as they would because of close friends. I thought it was quite interesting when Claire came into that mix. Lord John Grey, I thought, was very respectful of her, but I thought Claire's reaction, she almost felt suspicious of Lord John Grey and kind of jealous as well of the relationship that he has with Jamie. She doesn't necessarily know that Lord John Grey had this thing for Jamie, right? This episode was really like a big reunion. All we were missing was Blackjack Randall and we know he's dead. He ain't coming back, is he? Anyway, a lot of the guys from the past were back. Gail is like, just great to see her back. We know from what she said, she's actually doing this to get Scotland independent. 
and know when Scotland's going to become independent and try and change the course of history. She needs a stone that Jamie gave to Lord John Gray. Claire and Jamie go in after her because they find out she's been lying about young Ian. It's actually her that's got him. But then, of course, it had to happen. Jamie got caught by the captain. He's an ambitious guy and he wants to get Jamie for the crown. Maybe get himself a wee promotion. Claire is furious, but they're separated again. And we're at the end of the episode and we're thinking, crap, not again. They're separated. Jamie's going to jail again. Although one thing we do know is that we're in Jamaica. Jamie has a very influential friend here, right? Lord John Gray. I don't even know, would the captain have more power over Lord John Gray? As governor of Jamaica, I think probably not. Lord John Gray is probably going to have the final say. So we think Jamie actually might be all right in the end. But it's probably going to be up to Claire to go and rescue young Ian. And of course, he is with mad as a box of frogs, Gaelis. And who knows what's going to happen there. I haven't felt this tense and this excited about an episode since probably Culloden. Culloden was a great episode in this series. The back row was just amazing. And great to see all our old favourite characters back again. And you know what? Gaelis coming back was cool. But then she started name dropping people like Dougal. Uh, and that just kind of gave us all kinds of old time feels about Outlander, right? The people that we knew right from the beginning. At the moment, she thinks that... Dougal died in battle at Culloden, but we know that it was actually Jamie that killed him. So we hope that she'll never find that out. Otherwise, who knows what kind of terror she could cause. But one thing about Gaelis I find odd is that since she's from the future, she knows a lot about the world, about time travel, obviously like Claire, and she didn't put two and two together with that born 200 years in the past thing. So, yeah, very odd, but also a very upsetting end to the episode when Jamie was apprehended and Claire and Jamie separated once again. They're always separated, right? You would think that we would be used to this by now, but it's never ever easy, is it? Anyway, great end to the episode, very, very tense. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think, as I say, my favourite episode of the season so far, and I'm really looking forward to the finale. But guys, that's sad as well. We've got one episode left of this season. Just one. Droughtlander will be upon us yet again, any moment now. That is really, really tragic. But you know what? I haven't been releasing that many Outlander vlogs recently. I've had loads of ideas and loads of content, but I've not been releasing any. And I've been keeping them in the bank for the future because I know Droughtlander is coming soon and it's going to hit hard. There's going to be a lot of very sad, depressed people out there, including myself, right? So I've got these videos planned about Outlander that I think you guys are going to enjoy over the coming months that I'll maybe just keep us ticking over until season four eventually arrives. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you are new, please do hit the big red subscribe button down below. Hopefully you can share these videos with your friends and family. I just want to say a big thank you to all you guys who have been leaving your comments down below. I really appreciate it. I've got a lot of travel videos coming up. I hope you can watch them and let me know what you think of them as well. I'd also like to give a big shout out to Brazilian Outlander fans. I started a big discussion with those guys a couple of weeks ago when I found out about the whole Outlander porn gate thing and then Sam and Kate got involved as well. So I've made a lot of new friends in Brazil from the Outlander thing. That's been amazing, really great fun to kind of talk to them. There is a lot of Outlander fans in Brazil as well. So really, really cool to have you guys involved and everybody from around the world. This is a global community of Outlander fans and it's so great to have you guys all together talking about Outlander here, Facebook groups, Twitter, Instagram, wherever it is you guys are, I just love getting involved. So let me know your thoughts on this episode, the season, what you think about the end of it and what you'd like to see from me going forward in terms of Outlander when Droughtlander finally hits because it's coming. And also just one last thing before I go, I did talk a couple of weeks ago about Bonnie Box, the project I've been working on to send gifts to people from Scotland, Scottish products, right? Those were all sold out a couple of weeks ago and they've all been posted now. So everybody who has purchased a Bonnie Box, thank you very, very much for the support. They have all been posted and they will be with you guys within the next couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. But thanks again for the support. Thank you very much for the comments and all the love. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great night. I'll speak to you again really, really, really soon. Take care.